Hello folks, Mortuary here and welcome back to another episode of Soul Mask and the last time we played we actually uh, brought back a couple of friends to the base and our alpaca and meanwhile, uh, I'm recording this the next day, meanwhile the alpaca is full grown so we can actually use it as a mount or to transport goods because it does have a lot of uh, carry weight and uh, the last episode we also went to this area up here and I would like to build my base up there. My first rather permanent base will be in this section of land. What is this? My blade master? Wait a minute. That is strange. Okay, let me check. My blade master is here. He's not? How did he get up there? Okay, anyway, I need to go uh, up there and uh, probably rescue him from whatever he's doing and bring all my stuff with me. So I will be packing all this up. Uh, so you can actually go to something and press E and hold E and retrieve. Or I should probably check if I can make a building hammer. Uh, don't I have one already? Let me check. No, nothing in here. Nothing in here. This is plans. Okay, let me check if I can make a building hammer. Because that will make life a little bit easier. A hammer. Uh, probably made in my inventory then. Let's have a look. Bill hammer construction. Wooden construction hammer. What do I need? Uh, two handles for hardwood. I don't have any handles or hardwood lying around. Uh, hardwood, this is the hardwood. And do I have handles lying around? Probably not. Okay, so uh, let's go check here. How many handles do I need? Uh, thing two, let me check again the construction hammer. So I need about two hardwood handles. Let's do that. Hardwood handles uh, E and then plus one to get two. There is actually a coupling here. Well, I have them already. Okay, so let's make the construction hammer. Okay, this one will allow me to actually use the mouse button to pick up stuff so I don't have to interact with the uh, E menu all the time. There you go. So let me put the construction hammer on my hotbar if it's not already on there. Am I blind? Oh, this one. Okay. So this one will now allow me to uh, actually pick up everything. You can see there is now a button, left mouse click repair building, X dismantle, uh, right mouse button relocate or move it and the middle mouse button is retrieve. So I can simply go ahead and retrieve everything I want. I should probably pick up those instead. I don't really need the attached ones anymore, I think. So I'll be dismantling this building and then I will be moving to the new location and we can go from there. So give me a couple of minutes to pick all this up and move it, transport it. I will be putting everything on the alpaca of course. So let's transfer everything on the alpaca. Should be able to carry all this. If not, I can divide it with uh, between him and my other thrall. Yeah, that's the most heavy stuff. Okay, that's done. Perfect. So, yeah, let's pick up uh, the ash or whatever. Oh, yeah, there's food in here. Perfect. And then also pick you up. Pick you up. Everything is gonna be gone. And I will be transporting it with my alpaca. And I will be seeing you guys on the other side once I get there. So, we have arrived at the building location and uh, of course it's night now, always happens. I brought um, my two friends with me, I picked up the blade master on the road and my alpaca is here and my uh, temporary arches is here and I think I'm going to be building something up here. Uh, I'm not sure how big I will make it, it will depend how far I can go into water. Will this be my permanent base? I am not 100% sure yet. It will be my first settlement but I think at some point I should be moving more into this direction. 
uh, or maybe up to this direction because there is, I know there we will be needing um, copper and tin to make bronze later on so there is copper up here there is a lot of tin in this section of the map and probably some copper as well I don't really know about that but I think before I do that I do need to get myself some uh, more clans member from this base and that's why I'm going to be building here. Now it's not perfect because we are close to a little uh, guardian ancient ruins. So I probably will not be able to build out too far in that direction. And another problem I see is that we have some very big trees up here. And I'm not 100% sure you can destroy those. I don't think you can destroy the big ones actually. Let me turn on the light again. Let's check. No. I can't destroy those. Well, um, let's check the alpaca do not follow me anymore alpaca you can stay here let's check what we have on the alpaca we should have at least a couple oh, i already took them a couple of wooden foundations to get started so i think whatever we do next is um yeah make a little building it's probably going to be uh circular to start with let me put this on number five and then press z to turn into those and i think I think I'm gonna have to make it at approximately this height. Now I need to climb on top because you know me and my lines. So number six, number five, switch back to this one, uh, turn it around with the mouse button. Do not get in my way you fools come here and stay here for now press f3 to make them stay here for now okay and then turn this one around so this will be eh, i don't like i wanted it to go in that direction so let me pick everything back up again and start again i'm gonna be uh, probably speeding this up or uh, maybe even cut this out because if you know me a little bit, I might be redoing this 50 times. So I want it to go in this direction. 6. Press Z. And raise it and make it go. Maybe like this. Raise it. Okay. This should be it. Now you want me to place a bonfire, but you have to wait until I'm done. And now continue with this one. So turn it around, okay. I think this will do. Let's now place the square ones. Actually, like this. Mr. Tapir, you will be in the way. Do not get stuck under my buildings, please. Are you stuck under my building? No. Okay, and extend with another triangle. Uh, no, five. Then press a Z to switch to the triangle. Place it in there. Make sure the lines go in the direction I want them. The main... Uh, Problem. Well, it's not really a problem. A little issue I have with uh, with the building in this game is that they the blocks textures don't match up. I would expect these lines to match up with these lines, and I'm having similar issues with the foundations versus um, ceilings. So yeah, it's not really a big problem, but my OCD doesn't really handle that all too well. So I will be extending one more, and that should go. Oh, I don't have any more. Do I have more of those things on you? No, that means I would have to place down the carpenter's bench in order to be able to make planks. Not this one. Let's place it up here for now. Okay, I will need some stairs. Do I have stairs on me? Because these guys can't really get on this without any stairs. Do I have stairs? Did I build stairs? I did probably destroy those. 
show. Um, let me check. Can I make some thatch stairs? I need some thick rope, which I could probably make. Thick rope. Yeah, let's make ten. And then stay. Let's make two. Just to be sure, okay. There you go. And now can I place those here? Should be able to. And does it reach the bottom? Yes, perfect. So they will be able to get in here. I will be putting one of those guys on this. So I want the best one. This one is at 2 out of 91. This one is at 15 out of 96. So the temp archer can go on there. There you go, and then you will be able to make some planks for me. Let's make 50 to start with. And also place down a box somewhere. You. Uh, here. And then place down the box. There you go. Make sure I only put plants in there. So select the types. And then there's plants in here. You could actually, this is also nice about this game, you could actually... Uh, wait. It's gone. Oh, set storage type. You can indicate what goes into that. So you have categories, but the categories can also get uh, further fine-tuned. Like for example, I want not everything in here, but for example, I want logs in here. I want tree bark, I want branches. I want maybe for hardwood logs as well. So this will be a wood thingy. There you go. Press G to transport everything into the box and it only stores everything I selected. So, next thing I will have to do is, yeah, cut down trees, actually. So, I think I'm gonna make a cut here, cut down some trees, and then produce some more foundations and building blocks. And I will bring you back to extend the base a little bit further. So, yeah, talk to you after this little break. Okay, time to bring you guys back. So what happened? Well, I placed my foundations uh, in a circular, well, rather circular thing. And the idea is to probably expand a little bit in that direction. Probably a little bit in that direction if I can, if this tree isn't too much in the way. If not, well, then I will have to make a turn here and probably also a little bit more in that direction. So this will be the main entrance. So I will be putting up two double doors in here and then build walls all around it but I kind of don't like having uh, walls closing up everything especially for this section since this is only going to be the entrance so what I will be doing is probably using um, a combination of, of uh, doors and then probably later on fences but in order to do that I do need to get a, a lot of materials and a lot of building blocks so what I can do is for example I placed all these boxes here and as I showed you already, I set them up to hold specific things. There's one for um, uh, semi-finished products, uh, plants, trees, tools, medicines, building blocks, auto plants. Uh, these are minerals like stone and clay, animal parts and food. So yeah, it's a little bit sorted now. So in case I put uh, no wood in here, so if I would put wood in here, then the guy doing this will be able to get the wood. It will produce the stuff I asked him to produce and it will put it in the semi-finished product, products. I put him at work on this bench too, to create more wooden roofs. So yeah, he will be getting then the planks from the semi-finished products, producing the wooden roofs and putting them in the building blocks, building box. But yeah, in order to do that, I will need a lot more wood. So what I can do now is actually, first of all, place my uh, bonfire in the center of this thing, approximately five. Yeah, you are in the way. Let me deploy you. Oh, he is deployed. Then why? I, oh yeah, because I put you on stay. So come here, please yep okay and now uh, stay okay he will go back to work and i can place my bonfire somewhere in the middle
looks pretty much metalish to me. So first thing first, I will appoint the other guy to this one. Appoint caretaker. So it's the temporary archer, I think. Crooking uh, craftsman. This one is already. Hold on a sec. Who's doing that? Okay, temporary archer. So you, my friend, the blade master, you can attend this. What he will be doing then is fuel. Wait. Oh, this does happen. Wait. What are you? Why? Why? Are an enemy? That was strange. So the enemy came to my bonfire. I know if you do it correctly, the correct order, the first time you place a bonfire, someone will come and visit you and he will try to join your tribe. So yeah, that's what happens. So what I can do now next is go into the settings for the blade master. Since what are you doing? Will you attack me? Ah, what does he say? Fresh fertilizer. You know what? Fresh fertilizer. I'm gonna try to hit you. And then... Wait, let's put the rest on passive mode. Let's... No, no, stay here, you fool. You will be staying here. I will be hitting you. It's a level 15 one, so it's a tough one. Yeah, come here, you fool. Can't even get in there. Come here. Oh, he will try to path his way through this. I want to tame him, actually. If I can, I don't really know. Can I? I knew you would do that. No? No, I can't. Because you're a barbarian, maybe? Okay, I couldn't tame him, so I killed him. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, what I want to do is get some more wood. And in order to do that, I can actually access the settings for the, uh, the Blade Master. So you go to the eye, to the clan menu. And there you can access the settings for the Blade Master. One of his things is go to work. And in the work, you see that he is already doing uh, some crafting tables. This can actually keep be destroyed. I don't really need that. But I can make him collect the work location. Actually, I should be able to pick my wild collection. Okay, wild collection from around my bonfire. A build location, the marker I made. Okay, that's good too. What does uh, he need to do? He needs to log. And so I can set a limit and I can tell him where to store it, but he will be storing it in a box close by. So if I add this now, press E to save, he will be checking if there are some axes around. Oh yeah, because the stairs are there. And he will be trying to cut down trees in the area. He will bring back the trees, put them in the box, and yeah, in this box, not in this box, but in this box, he will fill it up, and then yeah, this guy can use the logs to actually pr produce planks, put the planks in the box, and then use the planks from the box to actually make the uh, roofs. So that's how things will be working. So this guy is now not doing anything. This is all fueled up normally, so fine, perfect, perfect. And I should have some building blocks available. I have this. And I have this. Okay, let's put those on my hotbar and actually place down some doors here. Number five, I want double doors, especially here. And then I built some more walls, but luckily you can switch the walls to another design. So I will be placing another double door here. And then probably let's place walls on the square things actually. Okay, can I still? Get in there. Yes. So walls on the square things. Like this. I will need to wait with that. Otherwise they can't get in. And here I will be placing the double door frames. And later on. I will be putting up some fences in there. So people cannot get in. Okay. 
Okay, pick up my hammer, remove this one. Okay, and then I should have a stair in my pockets, yes. So I will be putting up the stair here. Like this, so they know how to get in. Do I have another stair? Uh, I do, so I will be placing that one here too. Five, and then I should have a couple of doors. I have doors, yes. I can place those, and if I press Z, I can change the style, so it's a double door. Now the thralls will know how to open the doors and get inside, so that's not a problem at all. So yeah, uh, this is what I will be doing. I guess oh, I made too many walls actually. So this can go. Wait, this can go. This cannot go. Okay, I will be placing down the mats, so at least they have a place to rest or sit at. Wait, let me turn it around. Do something like this. Okay, one will be sitting here. I only have one mat. Okay, I need to make a, a few more mats then. Let me check. Mat. Uh, I don't have anything in my pockets, but if I do it here... Oh, I can't. It's only pocket-wise. Okay, so what do I need for mats? Press tab, go to inventory, mats. I need a thatch and thick rope. I thought I had thatch and thick rope in the boxes. I have no thatch. I can make thick rope. So let's make all of these. And meanwhile, I will be collecting some uh, some thatch. So yeah, let me collect some thatch and I will be back with you guys after that. Okay, time to bring you guys back and try to finish this little build here. So meanwhile, uh, my... Uh, what's he called the blade master is collecting stuff i set him up so he will be collecting uh, mining stuff as well so collecting stone and clay so he's now collecting stone clay and everything with cutting down wood so he's doing mining and logging meanwhile this guy is making planks out of the wood and the planks are used to make building blocks and he should have made a couple of building blocks already yes so these let's oh crap where did i put it let's start with this so the fences, I want the fences to go actually in here. No, wrong key. Like this. You can choose between different ones, like the diagonal ones will not fit in here. You can choose the half ones, but I don't know where those go. Half, uh, it's a half diagonal one, I think. So if I place this in the holes there, uh, I probably want to extend in that direction maybe in that direction too but for now i can simply place them in and this will um, make sure that people cannot enter my base in that direction actually i will place two more uh, for now so fences one not one but two let's check he's waiting for a caretaker so he will take that up and i can continue with actually placing some more of those walls because i always find like no, one wall height is is just not high enough for me i don't know why it, it looks strange so i will be using the half walls to build this up first and i hope that i can attach my roof to that half wall because i'm not really sure so we're putting the rest back again press q to transfer and i should have the roofs on me yes with the roof since we are building in a in this case uh, what's it called almost circle type thing we should actually mimic with the roofs what we did with the foundation so square foundation square uh, rooftop thing so let's make that first can i yes and then flip you over oh it did work perfect so i can use the f key to uh, switch snap points which is good this one looks kind of strange i am doing things incorrectly I just mentioned to you guys how you should do it and I make a mistake myself. Do I have my building hammer on me? No, I put it back into the tools box. This one, the building hammer, let's place that on number five. There you go, number five. So you are incorrect, yes, they're all incorrect. Just this one is correct. Okay, let's go again, number five, number six. And then on this one, 
Yes, then two open, two open on this one. Two open on this one. Two open on this one. Now I can fill up the rest with the triangle ones. It's like this. Oh, come on, yes. And this will make sure that my bonfire fire will not get extinguished if it starts to rain, because if it does start to rain, of course the fire will get extinguished. Okay, then an upside down one like this. Oh, oh, you got it, yes. Oh, come on, go in there. Yes, please. I can't even see due to the brightness of the campfire, yes. Yes, and now switch up to these again, because on the square ones I now have a triangle. Oh, I missed one, okay. Let's put this one in, the upside down one. Then left over with the square ones up there, and I hope that there is enough stability to actually do this. I think you can build three blocks out without uh, support. So this should actually work. Yes. Okay. Okay, we have a little building here, which is nice. I think I might try to make you two more doors, actually, to fill that up. Door. Uh, D. Make me two, please. I will be dropping off the ceilings in here because I don't really need them anymore for now. I'm pretty sure that I will be needing them later on. Uh, if I want to extend the build in this direction or that direction, then I will need to add more. But for now, I think I'm going to be putting two doors in here just to finish up the build. Okay, the build I got three. And then I will explain one more thing. Before I log off, so the last thing I want to show you is that actually the more the people in your tribe do things, the higher their proficiency gets. So if I go back to my clan's people and I show you the menu, there is an I button and then you go to the clan thingy. Uh, in here you can actually check the proficiency of your clan's member. And like this one has not been doing much, it's the Blade Master, he's now logging and mining. So he has 24 in logging, 17 in mining. Once it gets up to 30, I can select one of these additional perks. For these, most of the time, I pick the one which uh, lowers the durability uh, reduction cost for using an item. But for other things, I will mostly improve uh, output. Like for example, if I check my other guy, the Temp Archer, he has been doing quite some stone working, so I put a point into produce more. The same thing can happen with the, the weapons. So this guy has been using dual blades. Here I will put additional blade for dual weapon weapons. Additional damage, I mean. Additional damage for the bow. That's all fine. I will check the same thing for this guy. Doesn't really have anything above 30. And I can check this for my own character as well. So I have been doing some logging. I already picked that. The rest is all mediocre at best. I have been doing some blade damage, so I picked that one. And my shield is starting to raise as well. So this is how you can actually improve your characters. There is also a thing with their abilities. So I left leveled quite a bit and I have some additional stats I can distribute over uh, the different stats. Yes, hit points. I tend to go for 20 physique because physique is your hit points and also your resist, your base resist and your base recovery speed. So I tend to actually put six points in here and then it really depends on the weapons I want to choose. Like this one is perception, there's more damage for bows, this is more damage for one-handed weapons, this is more damage for two-handed weapons, this is more endurance. So it's a rough summary because it gives more. Huh? This perception gives you more coma resist, produce more, and your accuracy when you're using the bow is increased. This one is base HP, HP recovery, max HP, chill resist, flame resist. So your resistances are in here as well. 
This is strength, max load, poison resist, collecting efficiency, so for gathering this would be nice. And then your three, um, your two, two-handed weapons, so your greatsword and your hammer. This one is of course stamina and endurance, and this one is for uh, damage output. So I think I'm going to be going 20 here as well. And then since this one will probably be spare and uh, blade one, I think I will be going with this for the rest of it. There you go. All points are distributed. I am now level 20 and my points are distributed. You can do the same thing for your, your clans member. Huh? So this one definitely needs more physique. There you go. The archer. The archer is currently just a temporary one. So I think I will be putting points into this because this increases his output speed and points into this because this increases the actual output. So one point here, one point there, space. I will probably kick this one out of the uh, of the tribe if I find a better crafter at some point or a better uh, archer. His mm, traits are <laughs> not really all that great. Aversion to bath. He doesn't like to bathe. Uh, reduced damage from hammers, weak attacks. Yeah, this one isn't really all that good. So I should probably be kicking him pretty soon. The Blade Master leveled up a bit. I don't know, this one is so strange. Aversion to defecation. I don't know why you get that. I hope he gets rid of that uh, at some point because every five levels you can get rid of one uh, negative one and every ten levels you could gain a positive one. So I think he got this one like last. And me, myself and I, well, I got some trades too. But nothing special yet. So, uh, I think with that being said, let me go outside and maybe go to the beach. Yes, go next to my alpaca and get up here, hide the user interface so you can have a clear look. And for me, it's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. Give me a little like, a little subscribe would help as well always improves the algorithm beast thingy and yeah if you have uh, suggestions or ideas or questions whatever about this game then let me know in the comments below and maybe i will make some uh, some tutorial or how-to videos as well depending on the questions i get so yeah as you can see she is stretching so it's time to head out for today and i will be talking to you guys later on so have fun stay safe and goodbye everyone bye bye